Hey everyone, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to solve the FizzBuzz problem today, and I'm gonna do this as if I were speaking to my interviewer, and I'll fill in the gaps, so here we go. So the first thing I notice when I look at this problem is that there are sort of three cases I need to deal with. I need to deal with this divisible by three, I need to deal with divisible by five, and I need to deal with divisible by three and five. So I think that this is going to be pretty easy to do if I just use a mod operator. So now before I get started, I just want to double check with the interviewer whether the value of x can be negative because it's really good to make sure that you are aware or you show your interviewer that you're aware of any bounds on inputs or possible errors that could come up. So I might ask them, you know, what is the viable range for x and in this case, let's say that x is greater than 1, and it's an integer, obviously. So with that knowledge, I can go ahead and start, and I'll just go ahead and create a for loop. And we want to just loop through up to the value of x, right? And we can go ahead and create an if statement in there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an if statement for when x is divisible by 3 and 5 because otherwise I might have this issue where it'll print out two values or it'll print out fizz when it should be fizzbuzz. So I'm going to go ahead and do if uh, i is divisible by 3 and i is divisible by 5. And then I'm just going to, in this case, I might check with my interviewer how they want the output to look, but I'm going to assume that it's the same as in the example. And I'm just going to put fizzbuzz. And then we have another case. So I'm going to use a else if here. And I'm just going to go through my cases. So if i is divisible by 3. And finally, we have our last case, which is if it's neither divisible by 3 nor 5. And then we're just going to simply print out the number. So we'll just do system.out.print and I. And so now I'm done writing my code as far as I can tell, but I'm not done with my interview question yet because I need to go through and actually test and make sure that my code works the way I expect it to. So let's imagine a case where x equals say 15 because that way we'll hit all of our four test cases. So we'll start with i equals 0 and i is less than 15. So we'll go through and is 0 divisible by 3? Yes. Is 0 divisible by 5? Yes. So we're going to print out fizzbuzz and now I can already see that there's a bug in my code because it's not printing out what I expect because from the example I expect the first value to be printed out to be 1. So in this case my bug's pretty simple. I should be going from i equals 1 to i is less than or equal to x. So fine, that was pretty easy. Now I'll go back again and let's try this again. So x is equal to 15 and now i equals 1. 1 is not divisible by 3 and it's not divisible by 5 and 1 is not divisible by 3, not divisible by 5, so we'll print out 1. Okay, so that's good. That's what we expect. For 2, it's not divisible by 3, not divisible by 5, and so we'll print out 2. And now we got to 3, and I'll see 3 is divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 5. So we're going to come here, and we're going to print out fizz, and that's what we expect, and we'll keep going. And then it's going to go to the end, and we'll say 4 should print out 4 like we expect, 5 we see it's not divisible by 3, but it's divisible by 5. So we'll come down here and 
print out buzz. And now let's skip ahead a little bit to 15. And we see that when i equals 15, i is less than or equal to x. And so i is divisible by 3 and it is divisible by 5. So we're going to print out fizzbuzz and then we're going to go to the next one and increment i and i is now equal to 16. And 16 is not less than or equal to i. So we're going to return and now we're pretty, I'm pretty certain that this returns what I expect it to. So there's fizzbuzz.